So this podcast is sponsored by Podbean. Podbean is the easiest way to create your own podcast. We use Podbean to host Art in Heart, the podcast of the week on Podbean, and also my singing channel podcast, The Yellow Radio. Download the free Podbean podcast app to start, record, and publish your very own podcast in minutes. Podbean provides everything you need to run your podcast and you can record and publish episodes directly from the app on your phone. Download the free Podbean app today. That's P-O-D-B-E-A-N, Podbean. Head on over to Podbean at www.podbean.com and use the code PODCAST21 for your first 30 days of podcast hosting for free. Check it out. And check it out also on Twitter, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Podbean is everywhere on social media, and so am I. I'm Silvia Dos Santos, and I'm starting now the fourth, the last of a string of shows that I did this week to celebrate our In Heart Podcast of the Week on Podbean. So I did four shows for live streamings with calls and messages from the listeners. And um, so today I'm doing the fourth, the, you know, the last of these four shows uh, celebrating podcast of the week on Podbean app. So let's start the show, shall we? And I chose other four songs from In Excess and, you know, I chose In Excess to, to do these shows. I could have chosen any band. Um, I'm a very musical person, as you all noticed before already. So, yeah, let's start this. Okay. <laughs> from USA. No, Bobby. I think Bobby was from England. I recognize this Elias on Podbean. It's one of my, um, you know, trustworthy listeners. He's always here listening to the show. Sometimes he participates with a message. But hi, Bobby. You were the first one. <laughs> so 
Bobby, our listener, who's on the chat right now. We are, we are sharing the link right now, so the listeners will come eventually, like they always did, and they always do, and I thank a lot for that. So Bobby is from England, a great country, I may add. And this is Suicide Blonde by NXS, Michael Lurchance with this amazing voice. is starting the show. This is Silvia DeSantis, and this is Art in Heart, the podcast of the week on Podbean. Bit of cheers. This is uh, uh, not so, um, how do you say, uh, promoted, not well promoted by uh, In Excess, I don't know why, but it's not a very well known song, but I decided to put this one today. subjects are the same but you know the subject is all around the subject that you want to talk I'm just here to listen and talk to you you keep me company I'll keep you company that's how we do this that's how we roll right <laughs> Hi, Bobby, again, and hi, Adrian Wilson. You can call on the show and you can leave your message or chat with me on the chat room here on the app. But I really like when you, listeners, call on the show. It's for free on the app and you are on the app. So where are you from, Adrian? Well, we'll listen to the songs I chose for today by NXS. Adrian, tell me, where are you from? And I'll chat with you on the chat room. Doing no wrong 
here chatting with all the listeners that are entering the show. Welcome. And, uh, you know, call or leave your message. I'm here to talk to you, but I really prefer listening to your voice. And this is the fourth, the fourth show and of a string of a four shows. I did four shows and today is the last show. And the last live show celebrating the podcast of the week, of course. And I'll do eventually a lot more <laughs> live chats, you know. Uh, what I find funny is that the subject um, going back a few months, I did the first subject that I did, Are You Strong Enough to Be Alone? I thought people would want to talk about the other subject, you know, uh, stuff we buy online because it's, you know, but, you know, I loved it because people started to call from all over parts of the world, you know, and they wanted to share their story about um, this theory that uh, some people are strong enough to be alone, some others prefer relationships, even if they are not happy. And I, I just want you to tell me your take on the story. And we are listening now to New Sensation. And this is a pretty good song to dance, I think. Are you dancing? I'm moving my head around. <laughs> I'll be your shoulder. You can tell me all. This is one of my favorites by my side and these are the four songs I chose for today to keep us company uh, well we talk about or Seinfeld the TV show or stuff we buy online and uh, you know the other subject are you strong enough to be alone so but whatever let's chat about whatever subject uh, and um, Mainly, I want to know your story. Where are you from? I would like to know, to get to know a little bit better uh, my listeners from all around the world. I see your country is getting in the chat, but I would love for you to call. And it's for free, you know? And uh, it's a nice thing by, um, by Podbean. It allows us to call from wherever in the world you you might be at and call on the show for free you know I've spoken with people since uh, from China uh, Bangladesh Pakistan 
Iran, um, England, UK, um, USA, uh, Canada, uh, India, I already said that. Yeah, a lot of countries. Yeah, call on the show, yeah. Colombia, yeah. And, but this song is too good to talk on top of it. So, let's go listen. No window, no air at all In the dark of night These faces, they haunt me Well, I wish you were so close So, hi, ABC7 show, Man Cave. Yay, Man Cave Sound. I think I recognize your name from one of my first shows. Don't I? Tell me. Just tell me I know your name. And Doc underscore G, Adrian Wilson, Bobby from England. Tell me your countries, you guys. Tell me your countries. Yeah, you can call in. Yeah, I do know you. I thought I did. <laughs> I thought I did. So we are taking a call by ABC7. Hello. Hello. Where are you from? Um, your name is not ABC, right? No, I thought um, uh, my name is not ABC, but I'm from New Jersey. And I just um, um, put, um, I think your name for my broadcast, and I, I put like ABC on it. Oh, so what's your name? Uh, my name is Chris. Chris. Hi, Chris. So, Man Cave. Man Cave is talking to, to me on the written chat. Mm. So, how are you? Yeah, how are you, Man Cave? Are you good? <laughs> I do. So, um, Chris. Chris, where are you from first? Um, New Jersey. Tell me. New Jersey. You were, yeah, you said. Sorry, yeah, you told me you're in New Jersey and I got distracted. Well, so, I do have um, to tell you. Oh, you do? Yeah. Tell me. Um, well, um, you know what a day program is, right? Uh, I don't understand what you're saying. Let me just put the sound on my headphones a little bit higher. Tell me. The day program is like a friendship house. Um, if, um, and you know, it's like a day program I go to now. Mm. And it's not doing I'm good. I'm trying to understand you. <laughs> you, know what, you know why it's not doing good? What? It's not doing good because I have this annoying... I don't even like this pizza. So I have a pizza called Lorena. Lorena doesn't do anything and she called me on the phone on Wednesday and I said, Mom, you know? You pick up the phone next time, and when it said it's me, we're waiting. Yeah. Like, oh, who cares? You know, he does. We can't even take a max break or something. He is so ridiculous. There's a lot of nice people out there besides Mom and Lorena. And you know, um, I have, when I talk to them, they don't even know what's going on. Um, Lorena doesn't know what's going on. So I hope I get oh. all and to get out of that program. Okay, so, but you call on this show and I'm really happy to talk to you and just tell me which of these three subjects, and I'm talking to the guys talking on the chat as well, Man Cave and Doc G, Adrian and Bobby and the others. So I'm, I want to know which subject are you, is your favorite because um, knowing by the statistics, People wanted to know, um, wanted to talk about uh, mostly was the subject, are you strong enough to be alone? I'm, I'm, I'm getting all calls about uh, any subject. We already talk about JFK murder and everything. Hi, GCR 
to you there. <laughs> Enter the live studio. Welcome here. Where, um, where are you from? So um, the, the subject that was most successful was the are you strong enough to be alone? So yesterday on the third show, today is the last one, not my last show, but the last one to celebrate podcast of the week. You know, Chris, uh, yeah. Podbean chose my podcast as podcast of the week. So I had to do four shows as requested by Podbean, you know, yeah. to, tell the, to tell people that podcast is the, the podcast of the week. So, and I thought, let's have some fun. And I was gathering the subject. Um, oh, I, man cave. <laughs> I was I, gathering the, yeah, I your like love that, man cave. I like that. Um, 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 I like your name, man cave, because it reminds me so much of bear cave. Nice. <laughs> so, Chris. ABC is uh, talking to Man Cave. I love this. I love this interaction by the listeners. With <laughs> so we had uh, a caller from Tennessee, you know, Chris, Tennessee, USA. And he was talking about uh, JFK, John F. Kennedy murder and his theory. And this theory was a lot similar like mine. So what I'm trying to say is that while we listen to In Excess, it could be any band. I could have chosen any band, I know, but I chose this one. It's a good one. And, uh, you know, it, it, all the subjects um, are not just those subjects. You can talk to me about everything you want as long as a, as a respectful subject. You know, uh, Pot Bean doesn't allow um, you know, those sort of things, defamatory, prohibited content, you know. So, which one of you was on the, the chat, written chat, and Chris, to you too, I'm talking to you too. Um, which one of you likes Seinfeld, the TV show? Jerry Seinfeld I, and Larry I, David. I like Seinfeld. Um, that was on MTV. You do? Yeah, that was oh. on MTV. So, which one is your favorite character? Um, the I'm guy, a fanatic. The one that smokes, I'm the guard. The what? The one that smokes the guards. The one that comes in with the cigar in his mouth. Oh, I, I think I know. Kramer. Yeah. Yeah, the crazy one. But the best <laughs> one, right? The funniest. Um, that type of character, um, I think it, it's, it's so genuine, right? I think he's so genuine and did you know yesterday I was talking about this with somebody else on the third show, today is the fourth show, so last um, uh, yesterday I talked to someone about that on chat room uh, and uh, we found out that some curiosities about the show, Kramer wasn't supposed to be Kramer, it was supposed to be Kessler. So yeah. do you enjoy that name? I don't. Mm -hmm. I think Kramer is really good on the ear, you know? Mm -hmm. It's more... Um, I don't know. It, it has a, a sound to it, right? Kramer. I, I don't think they would get this much success if the character had been named uh, Kessler. Do you agree with me, Chris? Yeah. From New Jersey. Yeah. Well, you know, guys, um, um, there is another show that used to be on. Do you actually know PBS? The, the yeah, the PBS. Part? I know, I know. It's like, uh, it's from the husband of Jane Fonda, right? Yeah, like PBS from Public, Public Broadcasting Television. And, yeah, yeah. And he has uh, Conan O'Brien. Yeah. He went there, right? Jason. Yeah, after NBC fired him, right? Yeah, and like, he went to PBS. Yeah, he went to PBS because, you know... Is he Steamer, still there? Yes, um, Steamer, yeah. as you know, Steamer play a naughty man with a heart mm -hmm. and cold. He plays, like, this character, and, you know, he gets into trouble and puts on disguises, and Stacy has to, like, yell at him. Like, the one episode mm -hmm. is Fortune Teller. 
And you know what happened? Oh, no, tell me. Well, you know, Dee Dee was saying, no, no, wait a minute, Seema. Like, um, this is one. This is the outrageous stuff you ever do. And you're seeing the customers out of the money. And, you know, um, Seema was saying there's nothing wrong with telling a group of people and suffers what they want to hear. Hmm. You know, we see this is when it's not always there, you know. He gets into so much trouble and he got safety fired from her dog yeah. last night. You know, Chris, I, I found out yesterday also one, one thing. Uh, let me just say hi to the guys entering the show. And Man Cave, yeah, I think I'm loved by Podbean. But you know what, Man Cave, I'm the only one promoting my show. So what's the point in being <laughs> Podbean, uh, uh, Podbean's um, uh, podcast of the week? They share my show like once. You know, but I'm not, um, you know, I'm just honored. I, I'm happy that they chose, but you know, it's a bit sad when I go to see the promotion and I thought they would promote a lot more the show, you know, but what do you have to tell me about that, Man Cave? And the others on the chat, you can call on the show for free. I can accept till seven calls or six. And we have one hour to spend here. Let's have fun, you know? Whatever subject you want to talk, you know, you can talk as long as respectful. And it's free, right, Chris? You're, talk you, you're talking to me. I'm listening to your, to your lovely voice from New Jersey. I'm in Portugal and we are talking for free. So this is good, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you, Chris, what I was saying. Um, uh, apparently, uh, there was a guy who went uh, at school, um, uh, school and uh, with Jerry Seinfeld, and he sued the he sued um, the show because he was um, he believed that the character uh, George Costanza the hilarious character George Costanza um, he's, ba he's based on him Michael Costanza I think it's Michael I don't remember well but there is a, a guy Costanza in Jerry Seinfeld's life in real life so but um, they won in the courtroom because Larry David apparently um, proved that the character George Costanza is mainly based on his life. And that's why he, after that, he did Curb Your Enthusiasm by Larry David, which I find it hilarious and genius. I'm, I'm a, one of the ultimate fans uh, of Larry David. Are you, Chris? Uh, Chris is talking to us from New Jersey, just to tell everybody who's on the chat. And I got good news for listening. many days than you. What? I got good news. I got he you got good news for Man Cave? Yeah, Man Cave and you. Uh w which are the good news? Well, uh, Man Tell Cave. Him. I I don't know if you um know this um um or if you watch TV, but if you do, there's something coming to Channel 7, the A sitcom and the 90 sitcom who's the boss that went for 80s and oh. 90s for a season. Oh yeah, who's the boss? I like it. I like yeah, that show. Coming yeah. back, who's the boss is coming back in the reboot sometime this year. Oh yeah, but with the same uh, characters and the yeah, same uh, cast? Yeah, Romano, Tony Dancer. I don't know about Stuart White, but it's coming back this this year and the one of the years is um, here yeah. away too. But, but Chris, Chris, Man Cave and Doc T, I, I, I'm starting to, you know, the, the tablet, it keeps, um, you know, uh, refreshing. And I, I started to not see the names that entered the show. So, but everyone is listening right now and everyone is participating on the uh, written chat. And Chris from New Jersey is calling on the show for free. And uh, I'm going to tell you this. Tell me your opinion. If some of the shows just uh, shouldn't uh, return, uh, what I am saying is that I think you romantically, you see 
these TV shows in the 80s and 90s and you were on a certain point of your life that you find uh, that TV show really um, like um, familiar to your life or you just like that show because of the character, because of the actor or actress. But um, I think there are some, um, some TV shows that shouldn't return. They should have stayed in our memory, in our, you know, romantic memory of that show. Like, I agree with um, that because, you know, I, I honestly, talking. yeah, Dr. Chris, tell me, yeah. talking about that, Sonnen would turn because once they did, they should leave the whistle all alone and just not make a reboot. But I can understand the fans wanting yeah. to stop these people to come back. So I, I, yeah, we yeah, understand. They're, they're doing yeah. the reboot. Yeah, we understand. Doing, but I'm going to watch for myself and say, like, but oh, I think. I think it can ruin. Um, Man Cave, I'm just answering your call. Uh, I'm not going to pay you because Podbean is not paying me. Um, it's funny because I say Podbean sponsored uh, my show, but uh, this is a, a host read ad they told me to read. And yeah, I like Podbean, but I'm not getting any cent, any dollar from them. I must leave this explicit here. I, it's just, you know, those type of um, responsibilities as a podcaster. So they chose your, your podcast as podcast of the week. They tell you to read that. But honestly, I'm not, yeah, man, okay, I'm not getting any oh, money man, from okay. them. Man, okay. yeah. um, so, after, uh, after this um, podcast, you want to come into my podcast? I need to talk to you for a sec. Okay, you, you, <laughs> I love I him. I need to talk to Man Cave. Actually, this that. podcast, you go to him, okay, Man Cave. So, mm -hmm. Chris, uh, but I, there are shows that shouldn't um, return. You know, as yeah. much as I, uh, as much as we romantically remember those shows and um, they give us uh, real good emotions mm -hmm. just by remembering them. Um, for instance, Seinfeld. It's about uh, George, uh, about a guy who's in his 30s and is unemployed. And they talk about nothing, but I think it's genius show. It's a genius brain behind the show. Larry David, I think I take my hat off for this guy because he's amazing. And uh, what I am trying to say is that it doesn't make sense for Elaine Bennis. Uh, now, nowadays, they are still with the same problems, unemployment and trouble with the, the guys. Elaine Bennis had trouble finding a, a boyfriend. And Jerry, I think Jerry and Elaine should have stick together as a couple. But I get that, you know, I get that they, um, they separated them in the first season. It's just to present her to the show. And I, I love that also. But I, I thought it was funny when Kramer on one episode tell, tell, told them to, um, can't you see you're in love with each other and <laughs> you belong together? And I thought, oh my God, in the last season, they, they could have uh, realized they love each other and it was the last season, right, Chris? And yeah. um, we are talking to Chris from New Jersey, USA. And, um, you know, I, I was kind of hoping, weren't you, uh, that on the last season of Seinfeld TV show, they would put um, Elaine Bennis with Jerry Seinfeld together. I really thought... It was a, a little bit weird ending, uh, but, but you know, that's TV, right? Um, we can always get what we want, but, uh, <laughs> but yeah, there are some shows who don't make sense nowadays. They should stick to the show when it was aired, right? And on, in the 80s or 90s. Um, Why do we feel old talking about this? Mm? We, when we talk about old shows, we just feel old, like, 
We won. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, how old are you, Chris? I'm 24. I was born in 1997, so I wasn't here in the 80s or something like that. Oh yeah, you are you are so young, Chris. <laughs> I miss those days. I'm 40, but you know, um, just to get this right, the picture on my um, the the profile picture, uh, we are in 2021 year, the year 2021, right? And that picture, I had 38, so I don't look too bad, and <laughs> it is not uh, edited, so I think I look, yeah, because I don't use Photoshop or anything like that, and I think people have to be real, and well, what, it was what, a what really you, nice day for me. Know. That picture, I went to the hairdresser on that day, and I felt good with myself, you know? And I took the picture, the selfie. Oh, um, what did you, did you, I didn't catch your name. Uh, my name is Silvia Dos Santos, and I um, I'm the host of the show, and I live in Portugal. Okay, I'm Portuguese. Question. Do you think um, the, um, Silvia Dos Santos is old because of her age? To the man cave. I don't think man cave. Uh, it went out for a second because he said, oh. "Back in a minute." <laughs> I was asking him, does man Kate think you owe us something? <laughs> <They're old. laughs> Even if he thinks, I don't care <laughs> because I love being 40. <laughs> because I accomplished uh, many things when I'm 40, you know? I, um, I had a, a, um, a few years where I suffered a lot with a few things. Oh. And, uh, and I thought, what the hell is it? Is this my life? And um, you know, uh, on my bio on Insta, Instagram, I, I just, I, I'm like being ironic. I just say the things that I'm good at, but because I'm being ironic. Like um, when I was in uh, job interviews, you know, Chris, yeah. you, you have gone in job interviews already. You are young, but I think you already search for jobs eventually right right yeah so when i um oh chris okay so i'll keep talking about this and chris is going to the chat written chat and what what happened was uh on my job interviews um so chris i have to explain chris was talking on the phone from jersey but he had to end the call the phone call but he's still on the chat room talking to us, um, in, uh, the written chat room. So what happened on my job interviews? Um, sometimes people can be real uh, cruel to you and envious, you know, like envious. And uh, they um, sometimes they, they, they say stuff with envy in, it, in their hearts, like, oh, you can't be this good and pretty at the same time. You can't be this bright, this clever, this intelligent uh, like you are, but being pretty at the same time, those are stupid thoughts. And I had to deal with those type of people, um, you know, and uh, yeah, I suffered a bit uh, for a while and um, people can be cruel. So I'm going to drink a little bit water because uh, yesterday I had my throat aching and I sang on a live show on Instagram to exercise my voice to do the live show today, the last uh, show of a string of four shows. So this is the fourth show and um, I hope you are having fun. I'm watching all of you on the chat room writing and we had a call but I can't I have other calls um, because the live show is still going on and uh, yeah I'm going to drink a bit and water to hydrate my voice and uh, let's keep listening to uh, the beat of In Excess and Michael Ochen's voice New Sensation 
show uh, it's for free on the app just figure it out how it works on the app it's not that difficult and uh, yeah I I got many people here on the written chat but as I told you before people who will listen to this show because it will be available on Podbean and on Apple Spotify you name it all the apps of podcasting so We had Chris from New Jersey um, calling on the show for free. He called and he talked about Seinfeld, he talked about other stuff and it was a really nice guy and but I want more calls. You can call on the show <laughs> and it's for free. <laughs> Chuck, hey Chuck, I missed you. You know, you made a quite a huge success on my first live chat. So can you call on the show for a minute? <laughs> can you call on the show? I'm waiting on your call, Chuck. You <laughs> don't disappoint me. I really like talking to Chuck, but I only talk to Chuck like two minutes or not even that. And I felt so bad because it was right right in the the last second of the the the, the live streaming. And I wanted to talk to Chuck, and he has an amazing voice, and uh, he's an amazing podcaster as well. So call on the show, Chuck, for like two seconds if you don't have much time. But I really wish I uh, could talk to you a bit. 
and I'm still sharing the link to the live streaming. That's not very easy to do because you have to be on a live streaming to share the show because I'm doing the show, but I have to share the show. That doesn't make sense, but being you should have... Um, I'll try. I don't think you'll hear me. I think you. I'm. I think I'll hear you. Let's try. If I can't hear you, uh, we we'll leave it for another day. But try to call. And if I can't listen to you, you um, you you just talk on the chat. Okay. Let's talk to Chuck. Hi, Chuck. I accepted. Oh, Chuck! Hello, Chuck! Oh, you can hear me. That's good. That's good. Yeah, I can hear you, and I'm and I'm going to put my sound on the headphones a little bit louder. And the song by my side from In Excess a little bit lower, just to have a great experience talking to you on the phone. So, Chuck, just remind me, you are from um, USA? Yes. But you live on another country. I live in Ecuador. Ecuador. Yeah. See? See how you got stuck on my brain, on my memory? <laughs> <laughs> and I've done uh, quite a bit of a show since then, but uh, not too many. Because I think uh, my... Um, I prefer doing the episodes and the episodes take me a lot of work and research you know and uh yeah but you know pod being uh, chose uh, this week my podcast as podcast of the week but chuck you are more experienced than i am tell me something they like they promoted my show like one second you know I'm not yeah. talking trash on Podbean. I love Podbean. Podbean will listen to my show because I I have to send the, the four shows. They request it. But, you know, I love Podbean. I talk wonderful things about Podbean. But I, I just wanted to know from an experienced uh, podcaster such, such as you are, Chuck, um, who was with calling us for from Ecuador, He's from USA, but he's calling us from Ecuador. So, <laughs> what's actually, up, Ecuador? Actually, I'm calling no? you from Massachusetts. So I am in the United Ma States. So you are you're not on Equ in Ecuador, but you are on USA in USA. Yes, I'm going back. To but Ecuador. when you call me the first time, when you call me the first time, you were in Ecuador. Yes. Yes. So. I'm, I got right that part, right? This part, <laughs> you are talking uh, from Massachusetts. You know that word, Massachusetts, it's quite a tricky word to write <laughs> without the help of the keyboard, <laughs> right? Oh, and thank you a lot. You sent me, you sent me those, you know, those, um, those gifts, right? On the, the live chat. I didn't even know what those were. And just by the way, uh, you had to get like $20 just to receive on PayPal. But I haven't reached the, the number, you know, on the premium episodes and stuff like that. But honestly, I don't care. <laughs> because I never expected um, to earn money on Podbean. Uh, I try to have sponsors, uh, preferably, you know? And you do too. You have sponsors, right? Yes, I do. You work like that, right? So, yeah. but uh, we love Podbean. It's not, uh, nothing against Podbean. But mm. what I don't understand is like, you were a podcast of the week already, right? Like yeah, hundreds so of I times? Was actually, I was actually podcast of the week and I was also... Uh, uh, put in the uh, top comedy shows, and I was shoot a really yes. Wow, that's wow. I'm I'm impressed, <laughs> but you know I wasn't. But you know I don't understand something. Uh, they don't promote like they like told uh, people just for one second that I was podcast of the week. But when I got the email, I was so excited, Chuck. I, I thought. 
well, this is going to, you know, rise up the numbers of downloads and stuff like that. But um, I got another channel, you know, a singing channel. It's a podcast, but it's more like music and musical. I sing covers without rehearsing, without microphone, without embellishment or editing, like raw, raw MP3 files. So I love it. I make mistakes, but I sing anyway. And you know, that channel wasn't podcast of the week, but you know, that channel is, is surpassed the podcast as um, like more successful. Uh, this podcast, Art and Heart, is successful in my own view, but uh, I'm on the charts, I'm well positioned every week, uh, but the singing channel, uh, you understand what I'm trying to say, the Yeda radio is the name of the, the show, the Yeda, Yeda is like the someone who sings on the um, Anglo-Saxonic Anglo word, Yeda on Google means a girl who sings. So I, I, I use that name. So the Yeda radio isn't promoted on Podbean as podcast of the week, but is more successful. And I, I just don't get it because I, I thought I, Podbean I would... I guess certain Promote. things cater to certain people and it's just they just like, oh, I like this instead of this and I'll just listen to this. Yeah, one, no, one, so and I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not complaining, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Um, the success I have with Art in Heart is, is quite good, uh, way better than I expected. And, uh, and I love this, uh, doing the episodes and sometimes it gets, um, on a week, it gets more successful than the Yeto radio. But anyway, both shows uh, are competing with each other on the charts and they are always on the top hundred as very good ones. You know, uh, what I was saying to you is like, you are a podcaster of experience and uh, you are a very, very good podcaster. And um, Dos, how are you, Dos? You know, I have to say this, Dos doesn't like uh, Nirvana, Doors, um, In Excess, don't you, Doors? He likes us. Because though. he told me yesterday, he told me yesterday, he hates these guys who do drugs. I'm not saying people should do drugs, but I love Amy Winehouse and she did drugs. She died from that. Well, you can't. <laughs> Dust, I'm not keeping a file on you. She's writing that stuff down, buddy. <laughs> oh my God, I wasn't expecting to read this, Th this on the, is, this the is chat room. This is probably Dust's first time hearing me with my normal voice because we uh, change it, so. Oh, yeah. I said drugs make great music. Oh, but you were being real uh, sarcastic, Dos. I have to explain to the listeners who will listen to this show afterwards on the, you know, on Apple and uh, welcome back, Man Cave. Man Cave, just enter, re-enter the show. Um, me? Yes, you, Dos. You, you were quite nasty towards uh, Michael Ochans yesterday. Who's singing, by the way, on the background? Uh, Michael Urchens is singing. But it, this guy had an amazing voice. Yeah, he died from drugs, right? Or he, he committed suicide? I don't remember. I think uh, it was suicide. I don't know. I don't know who he right? is. So. In this, from In Excess. You don't know In Excess? Like How old are you? <laughs> <laughs> you, you and Doss? Oh, I, I, I could have like chosen. It. I, I could have. I never liked them. I never got into their music. It just it was too whiny to me. I'm sorry. Okay, I get it. But I'm not the biggest, you know, fan. Uh, if you ask me, my favorite bands uh, in excess are in the, but not on the top five. You know what I mean? Like uh, I could have chosen. Um, Does is saying all I said. I wasn't a fan. Was I wasn't a fan. And yeah, <laughs> and. <laughs> <laughs> and Dawes is saying now, I'm calling my lawyer, this is slander. No, no, don't call your lawyer because I don't have one. I don't know how to defend myself afterwards. But <laughs> no, it, it's not slander. I'm joking with you. 
No, I had to pick, you know, just a band uh, with uh, cute songs just to play in the background. And uh, it's way better than others. What? Chuck. I'm surprised you're not playing Duran Duran. <laughs> Oh no no no! I I, um, I I was I was supposed to put um, Nirvana. Do you like Nirvana? I love Nirvana. Like yeah. Nirvana. So I'm going to explain to you what I why I didn't put Nirvana because I want to do a, a show on them with their songs and and talk all about them and do the research and really respect. The, the singer, the lead singer, Kurt Cobain and, uh, and everything. Most overrated band ever, excluding the Beatles. So I'm quoting, let me just be clear, right Chuck? Uh, Chuck is on the phone, but Dos is on the written chat and I'm reading and Chuck is, all, uh, is reading as well. So Dos, one of the listeners who's participating on the chat room, he's saying that Nirvana is the most overrated band ever, excluding oh, the Beatles. It's, it's That's true. right, I said it. They're good. What? They got good music, but they really were overrated. It's the truth. They had some good songs and most of the music that they played. You're talking about Nirvana? Yes, I loved Nirvana, but the point is, is they were very overrated. Oh yeah, I get what you mean. I get what you mean. I have an enormous book cover. You know those books with cover, really big, with many pages to read about Kurt Cobain and Nirvana, just to do the show. That's why. Uh, oh, Pearl Jam! It, it was supposed to be Pearl Jam, but another band that I'm going to do a show about. So I can't, I can't put, um, yeah, Soundgarden. I, I once won an award. Um, uh, no, it's not an award. It's a prize on a radio station that I, I sang their songs. And I won a prize of meeting them on a foreign country. I, uh, Oslo, it was uh, in Oslo, the concert. And I was going to meet them, all the band and the lead singer, of course, who actually committed suicide. And that is real sad. Um, uh, I'm talking about Soundgarden. But I was talking about Pearl Jam because does Dos, the listener on the written chat, is talking about Pearl Jam now. So, but Chuck, uh, Soundgarden, I won a prize just by singing like two or three songs. And I was competing with uh, another guy that sang very well. And he played the guitar on live radio station to win the prize. But eventually I won. Um, that one hurt. Chris Cornell was the greatest singer of that generation. So we found a band, a lead singer that our listener Dawes loves and admires. Yay! I have to put the, 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 the clapping. Uh, sorry, Chuck, but I have to put the clapping. Where is the clapping here? <laughs> cheering. I'm going to put the cheering. Cheering. Yeah, Yay! Yay! <laughs> so this doesn't stop. So, Chuck, what I'm saying is that uh, Dos, our listener, uh, who is making... <laughs> <he's>, <laughs> he said he loves Chris Cornell. For him, Chris Cornell from the Soundgarden, the lead singer of Soundgarden, amazing band, uh, was the greatest singer of that generation. So, yeah, but, uh, it was real sad when we heard the news about his death. And it, it was, I don't want to make a mistake, it was suicide, right? I think it was. Quite um, almost at the same time from the other guy, one blink. 182 or something, right? I know one of the guys. No, oh, no, it's the, not the from... Guy from Lincoln Park killed himself. Yeah, yeah, Lincoln Park. Sorry, Lincoln Park. 
that guy um, has the, uh, that band has some cool music, cool songs to to make uh, one of these days another live chat. I, I, I really like, or an episode of some sort about someone and I put the songs about Linkin Park, but by Linkin Park, but um, just, I didn't have the clapping, but I did the cheering. I hope you liked it. I think, I think he's saying he didn't, he doesn't want the clap. Oh, okay. <laughs> but it went anyway, so <laughs> sorry, Doss. Uh, so, I, uh, Chuck, don't you get mad when some uh, Chuck knows, Dawes is saying, Chuck knows, Chuck knows, yeah. Um, when enters a, a live studio, someone new, and someone new is entering right now, but the name, uh, how can we, podcasters, Chuck, tell me, as a podcaster, how can I read this name, H S? I Q I W T M entered the live show. Okay. Welcome. Where are you from? <laughs> If he recognizes his own nickname, I don't know. Yeah, Call him Bob, Bob, yeah. But he doesn't recognize. <laughs> And we have a Bob listening from England. So not everyone participates, you, Chuck. Do, so doing you, that. I was going to say, Tell are me. you. Uh, Uh, spreading out like everywhere else like a different platforms right now or no i just uh, put on the facebook i was having problems today with facebook did you notice that facebook um changed to meta oh dos you gotta go i miss you already I you, hope to see you on the mm. show buddy i'm making a sad face But I'm drinking for you my, um, how do you say this juice is a red juice? Pom pomegranate, pomegranate juice. Pomegranate. I'm drinking for you, Dos. <laughs> so, what I noticed today, Chuck, is that Facebook um, is making it harder for us to share our show. Uh, you want to know why? Because he's... Um, dropping the authorizations apps, you know, you know the the apps when you authorize, um, you get into Podbean, right? And yeah. you auto share, auto share, right? So that uh, that part, that area, is no longer available. Oh. It, it, um, it means in the you will see on the on your dashboard. On Podbean, you can't uh, connect to Facebook. Uh, Zuckerberg is a whiny little crybaby rich boy. That's that's. Oh my God, I, I can't stand him right now because he, I, you know, I'm influencer and I I was having jobs, paid jobs as influencer too, uh, and uh, through uh, an app, a regular app. Um, and uh, to grow socially you know on social media and today i got an email uh, an email saying oh you lost your connection to facebook and i thought oh, it's a momentary you know i'm going to send them an email i'm going to fix this real quick and oh i lost two hours in this and you know what i never fixed it because you know what Our friend, Mike Mark Zuckerberg, he spends, like, each video he records to talk about meta, meta, whatever, he spends two hours on that video talking about himself, his story, how he created Facebook, and Facebook is Because not doing he's a its job. self-centered, egotistical little brat, that's what he is. My God, our job was already no, difficult. Our job as podcasters, we have to promote and everything, you know. I am my own, very own team, you know. I don't have a team. I do the show, I do the research. I, I don't have a, a microphone. I just use my headphones, my, you know, yeah, to I talk. Yeah, I have a professional head, uh, microphone. Uh, but I will so someday. Awesome, I will, I will. Mm, you are professional. Mm. <laughs> I can change my you voice are. too, so I don't know if it'll work, but I can. 
I mean, that's cool. That's real cool because I like those those sort of things like sonoplasty. How do you say sound editing is more like it? Yeah. Sound editing is yeah. So, but you know, Mark Zuckerberg and I, I watched like the first video and I dropped it. Like he started talking about himself, and on the video it was saying, "Oh, sorry, many people are facing problems, creators and influencers, businesses on Instagram and everything because they they cannot connect their account to Facebook." He's and I thought, I'm going to watch the video to see what the solution. Yeah, it, it was him oh, talking about himself. I was going to say, so <laughs> with all this meta crap that he's doing, he's going to lose so many freaking people on Facebook. It's going to be bad. They're oh. going to reopen MySpace. <laughs> did you? I, oh, did you know I share my show on MySpace and it's one of the best places to share your show. I, I, don't I still even, have I don't my MySpace old account. I, I still have my old account, I don't and you even know what? I I I um, like I uh, I how do I how do I say it? Um, I recovered my password. I don't even know how, but don't ask me. Um, I, I don't know how, but uh, you know what? When I share I'd be, it, when, uh, like I'd be afraid to. I'd be afraid to go back on my MySpace because I used to. Uh, Post like uh, some of my uh, <laughs> pictures up there that were like modeling pictures. So, no. mm. but you are quite a, an handsome boy yourself. I wish I was a boy, but I'm not. <laughs> uh, you're a handsome a man. Lady. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know, I, I talk like this because I, I feel like I'm a four year old child sometimes. And I, I prefer it that way, you know, if I was really old in my mind, uh, as I'm getting older, um, I would be bored with myself. So I prefer I, I to be that's, a child. That's, that's all I can say, heart. I'm old is, older than dirt. Oh, no, 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 no. You know, I had a call from Tennessee and I thought, oh my God, I, I won't understand anything. This guy will speak or talk about, but you know, I had the nicest conversation with um, a guy from Tennessee in USA, right? And because they have an accent, a real, um, you know, uh, <laughs> very uh, characteristic accent. And I started um, talking English uh, at school, reading a lot of books in English. And I still today, I don't read uh, like uh, an English author. I don't read it in Portuguese. I think the, um, the message by the English do author or Canadian author, you know, or from United States, you know what I mean. It gets lost in translation for me. Um, There's a book by Raymond Carver who, who led into a movie with uh, Greg Kinnear and a great cast, Lily Collins and uh, another actress that I'm forgetting the name that is on Top Gun 2. Yeah, I, re I don't remember her name, but whatever. And um, it's a great movie, really uh, great script and great cast. Photography, you know, I look at everything, every detail on a movie. And um, what I noticed is that that name on the credits, Raymond Carver, based on novel by Raymond Carver. Um, what to talk about, what we talk about when we talk about love is the title. And I thought, wow, the script was based on this. I have to read the book. So on the, um, you know, those fairs that we do every year with the books here in Porto, Portugal, uh, we do a fair with selling books and, you know, from all over the world. And I saw the book, but it was translated in Portuguese. And I thought, oh. I, I read it a little bit. They allow you to read a bit for you to buy, you know. And uh, I was with my husband. I got married between the time I talked to you and the last time. I got married. So oh, <laughs> I'm a married woman. So I, I, my husband said, oh, this is Raymond Carver. Don't you like this guy and stuff? Buy the book. 
But I told him, uh, I told the guy, do you have this in English, the, the author language, main language is English? And he said, no, no, we are in Portugal, so this is in Portuguese. And he looked at, he looked at me, Chuck, like I was like a snob or arrogant. It's not like that. Did you, did you say it I, like I, this? Did you go, I want this in English? No, no. <laughs> it's just, uh, I, I think he talks so well, you know, he writes so freaking well in English. It's his own language. Right, and, and, and I understand ling, uh, the English, so um, uh, I have an example, uh, Fifty Shades of Grey, oh, right? Uh, I got the book, so I swear, I got the book, you know, from an episode I did on six books, six authors, and I, um, I talk about E.L. James, I think it's the, the author of Fifty Shades, right? Yeah. And he writes pretty well, so, but I bought the Portuguese uh, version and uh, oh, I, I just read like the first page and I hate it, I hate it so much, <laughs> I was so that. disappointed. Nobody wants to that garbage, don't, don't, don't. Yeah, no, I'm not talking the, I'm not talking about the movie. No, I don't no, like I don't. it also. The, the, um, no. I'm talking about reading, reading stuff. And um, I did an episode like with six authors. You can search on my, uh, my episodes um, and you'll find six books with great music and you'll love the, the music, I think. And um, I think, <laughs> I think, I'm not, yeah, I think. Because it, I, it, it, is, a, it has... Um, I love 80s I music. I'm more of a heavy metal guy. No, but it, it hasn't. It doesn't have anything but from 80s or something. It's like um, it's like a soundtrack. I chose indie songs like uh, as a soundtrack to what I was saying about the six books. I I mostly read a bit of each. Uh, synops is like uh, is how you say it. Synops. Synops. Yep. The synopsis. Synops? How do you say? Synops. And, um, and in Portuguese, we say synops as well. <laughs> so, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and uh, synopsis, synopsis, something synopsis. like that. And I, um, I read a bit of, uh, of each book. And I think, E.L. James, I'm going to buy a book from this guy just to see and, uh, you know. But uh, I hated the the mistranslation. You know, the the guy translated or the girl translated well. You know, the correct grammar. You know, everything. Okay, but he got the message. Uh, if he has a message, it's Fifty Shades. So, but <laughs> it doesn't have a real message. But you you know what I mean. It's like. Um, a book to read on vacation on the beach, and uh, and you and I, I was looking at the you know the edited translation in Portuguese, and I thought this is not the you know because I first I go online on Goodreads.com, I think it's Goodreads, and I read a bit, but you have to be premium and you have to buy to get the rest of the book. Eventually, of course, but um, what I did was to read the first page for free on Goodreads, and um, and then I wrote, I read the the Portuguese version, and I I, I closed down the book, I closed the book, and I never, uh, you know, I never <laughs> picked it up again. Um, no. Oh hi, I little little G, little J. Enter. It's just Jill Jill? backwards. Yeah, we. Jill backwards. Hi, yay! Where are you from? I'm talking to Chuck, a very handsome podcaster, uh, who's talking to us on the phone for free. Can you call us, little J or Jill? Jill. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, boys, Idaho. Massachusetts is real far from Idaho. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. The oh, across the country. You have to go by plane. Oh, she'll just listen. Are you a girl? Yes. She's Are a you girl. Jill? 
Chuck is saying you are Jill. Okay. She's awesome. So it is your uh, picture. You are pretty. I th I I think I'm watching you. Your picture. Oh yeah, you are very pretty. You're watching it. You're looking at it. Come on now. Yeah, I'm looking. Stop yeah, it. I'm looking at the picture. Oh my god. Oh, sorry. My main language is Portuguese. I dare you to speak Portuguese, my friend. I couldn't, I couldn't speak Spanish to save my life. I can't speak Portuguese. Come on. Uh, Jill is saying she's old. How old are you? Come on. Are you 70 or something? Uh, you are not 70, are you? I'm 40 and I, I love it. Oh, you are 50, you are younger look than me. most of us. <laughs> no. Jill, do you miss us? Do you miss Chuck and oh. Billy? Do you know, you, you enter your show when I'm about to sleep once I participated, but you didn't, you ignored me, so I left. Yes, it's Chuck and, <laughs> Chuck and Billy's, not your cup of Yay, tea. Yay, Chuck and Billy's! I'm talking to Chuck, who's in Massachusetts, and the first time I talked to him, he was in Ecuador. <laughs> so good, Jill is saying, how are, you? How, are, how are you, Chuck? I'm good. Mm. She misses us. She comes into our show and she listens yeah. to how crazy we are, and she has a good time. Aww. What happened we, to you guys? We, we just did three shows, three new shows. Hi, Nobody Erica. Up, we just Erica Clement. Erica Clement, where are you? Where are you from, Erica? We are talking to Chuck, who's a great podcaster, and we are talking to Jill, or Jill and backwards, <laughs> in the written chat. Uh, so, Erica Clement is from Nigeria. Erica, do you want to call us for free on the app? Just click on the call and, uh, you know, you can call us. Chuck is very nice. I, I'm, in, I'm in the States now, but I'm going back to Ecuador. So. Oh, you are? When? Can I, uh, can I know? Mm, like for Christmas or it doesn't no, have no, I'm nothing to, to do with it? Mm. So, but you have though, family there or in yeah, Ecuador? I have my, my wife and my three daughters. In Ecuador? Yes. Oh, they must miss you. So, yeah, I think. They don't miss me. They're like, thank God yeah. he's gone. Jesus. No, no, no. <laughs> I, I, I don't think. <laughs> do you guys do it <laughs> to be missionaries? Missionaries. <laughs> Yay. Missionary. Are you. Like, like Jesus stuff, pray? Oh, oh, oh okay. Erica, call on the show, Erica. I want to listen to your voice. I never yeah, spoken to anyone from Nigeria, and I, I find it uh, one of the countries that most listens to my show on the statistics, you know, Chuck. I see Russia, Nigeria, and yeah, and uh, India. But I get a lot of calls from India. Yes, I do. So Jill is asking Chuck. Do you like living in another country? I love it because... I'm from Portugal, Jill. So you didn't oh ask, God. but okay. I'm feeling a little bit left out. <laughs> <laughs> well, you told me to call in. People are going to ask no, Chuck questions. So, because I'm just seen joking. <laughs> no, Jill, I'm joking. I love that you talk uh, between one another and you participate and you interact. You know, this is the fourth show in a string of four shows that I did to, you know, Chuck, to celebrate podcast of the week like it was something. But I gather that... I remember those days. Uh, you know, they only promoted like for a second and I had to do the rest of the job. And Facebook, uh, you know, Jill, Mark Zuckerberg is doing the worst job for us podcasters or influencers who live um, day by day with, you know, jobs by um, brands and, you know, and he's making it hard harder, way harder for us to share, promote our shows, you know, he's um, removing all the authorizations from Facebook to the apps, you know, when you enter like uh, Shopee or Alibaba, Aliexpress or, you know, those type of, or podcast apps, 
uh, or Podbean, uh, for instance, and uh, they removed all the authorizations when you get into the app through Facebook. It just doesn't happen anymore because Facebook is trying to be meta. Meta, um, how, do, how did he say? Metaverse. Metaverse. Here's how dumb I feel. I'm look at my, I can't find Portugal. What are you saying? You can't, you find, can't find my country? It's near Spain. Banished. We are little, but we are good people. <laughs> A little yeah, tiny thing. It's a tiny thing, but we are everywhere. We have Portuguese people everywhere. Oh, me. there it is. <laughs> you found my country on the she, globe. She was looking at where Ecuador was and all that stuff. <laughs> Jill is very nice to me. <laughs> At least you found the country. At least you found. You have to look a little bit more to find Porto. It's the city I'm living in. But my uh, hometown, you know, Czech, is uh, called Barcelos, like Barcelona. It's Barcelos. Los. It's a nice, cute, small town. But you, you don't live in the States. You, you live in Portugal, right? right? Yeah, I'm Portuguese. Oh, I was just wondering, yeah. I didn't know if you moved to the States or... No. You know, uh, Indian uh, callers, Indian listeners from my show, they call and they get so surprised whenever I say, I'm Portuguese, my main language is Portuguese. And they say, oh no, but here in India, your podcast is for us to learn English. It's an English podcast. <laughs> I didn't know I was in the category, but okay. We just found out, uh, I just found out when I went to my uh, Podbean page that we're in 70 mm -hmm. countries and we cover the entire United States. Yeah, me, me too. I have, I have great statistics and, and I'm just starting because uh, I wasn't on Podbean, you know. I was, uh, let me just say, Jill is saying, what a dream to be able to travel all over the world. Yeah, I agree with you, Jill. Erica, if you're still on, call on the show. I want to listen to your voice. Erica no. from Nigeria. She's and the, the others who are listening to the show, of course, can call on the show. It's for free. Again, it's for free. And this is the last show. Not forever a last show, but, you know, uh, the string of four shows I did. Uh, this is the fourth, so the last uh, on, to celebrate podcast of the week, of course, but um, I will do eventually another others other other shows um, in the future. So um, you were saying, uh, oh yeah, Podbean. Uh, I was on Anchor and Red Circle and uh, another one I can't remember, and I didn't enjoy. So I went to Podbean, and I'm real happy. What time is it there here in Portugal? Is um, Almost time to make dinner for my husband. 7.17 p.m. What about you, Jill? <laughs> and you, Chuck, what, what time is there? It's 1 12, 12, p.m. Uh, yeah, you, you, you are about to eat your lunch, Jill or Chuck? Or have I you eat eaten? Lunch. Oh, That's yeah. So, Jill. Oh. We're going to talk to Jill. Hello, Jill. Jill is calling us She's from Idaho. Right I I picked up your call. Where where are you? She joined the call, but I accepted, but I can't see it. I don't know why. Weird, she's right? Gotta hit, she's got to hit join now or it's not going to work. Oh, yeah. You've got to hit the join part to join the show on the call. Can you figure it out? It can be a bit confusing, Chuck. For no, who's not. calling, I think I need to... Oh. So Jill is telling us... She tried to call us, but she has some issues. And uh, I understand, Jill, you are welcome whenever you want to return to the show. I have at least more like uh, 20 minutes if you want to come in. But subscribe. 
And when I get online again, live streaming with other bands, with other songs, uh, thank you, Jill, for liking the show. And uh, subscribe to get the notification. And uh, who knows, maybe you talk to me and Chuck again. I will invite Chuck to be my co-host. <laughs> 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 because I do that so Jill kisses from Portugal to you greetings I, I had a lovely time talking to you Jill she's from Idaho she's 50 but she looks 20 years old so I look, um, I look 90 but no you don't 46. you look pretty handsome um, uh, we were saying something so but the point being is simple and Red Circle and Anchor, I remember, they, they can be quite uh, the pain in the ass. So I like simple, I like simple things, and part being doesn't give me a headache. Well, I can't say that. Pod bean gives me no? a headache. Because wow, how? They constantly shut us off when we're, when we're in the middle of a show. We oh, yeah. Restart. We've, we've had, we've yeah. Had, we've had episodes that go one piece, uh, second piece, third piece. Oh uh, yeah, back. you have to edit, right? No, that no, happened to me a, yesterday. It's not even an edit. It's not even an edit. Mm. They just shut us off. Like we could be not even 20 minutes in the show and they'll cut us. It's like, what the heck? What? I, I pay money really? and I'm not going to be cut off. Oh. Oh, that, that's, that's not good. I didn't know that. That's why you stopped. The show no, because no, it's because I've been working my me and Billy have been working like crazy, so we haven't had time to do the show. We've done three new oh, shows, and they're all okay. in voices like chipmunk voices, and we have a blast. Oh, it's so cute with that the new system you have, the sound system. Yeah, the board, the board, soundboard. Yeah. Oh, that must be a great. Um, I do uh, sound paraphernalia. Here in Portugal, we say paraphernalia, but in English, I don't, I don't know how how you say it. But you know those memorabilia of sound, sound editing stuff. You know, uh, micro and soundboard. You know, and that thing is uh, quite good if you can change your voice to chim yeah. chipmunk. Yes. Uh, you know. The Just push of a button and I'm, I'm a chip. That is so cool. The, the, the sounds the um, to 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 make a sound a different sound from our voice. Like with the balloon, the he helium gas, and you breathe in and you talk like wee, 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 right? Yeah, that's exactly what I sound like. I sound like Oh a that's so cute. But you have to do your show a little bit earlier. Because I go to well, we sleep it, like we, midnight we one one a.m. We do it at eight o'clock. Uh, but for me, it's like midnight and and a half and uh, uh, like one one a.m. Uh, Once I I tried to participate. Listen. I tried, I tried, <laughs> and I was like uh, in the middle of the starting sleep. You know the one 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 eye closed, one eye open, the other eye open, and I was like real zombie but I tried to participate I never realized if you answered me or not uh, because I I just fell asleep I, yeah. no, uh, I not because did. of you not because of you because you were being funny but I was really tired and it's like 1 a.m. here when you start the show yeah and I really I wish I I could participate like call you know but when you enter the show uh, my husband is sleeping and I should be asleep too and I watch you because I subscribed you and I, I, I get the notification when you enter the show right and I thought I, I wanted to call you know to surprise these guys they are so cool to me and um, yeah and I started talking to you like via written message and I fell asleep right through <laughs> I never I, I, probably, I never I probably answered <laughs> I definitely I always yeah I always but I never answers. got the answer because I fell asleep and I think I did calls that night <laughs> because when you fall asleep with your phone do you often do that with the phone in your hand and you fall asleep and you click in buttons once I, I removed I don't know 
till this day I had a page on Facebook uh, right now I have a page right but I had an original uh, page from 2008 when Facebook was a thing right and um, and you know I had like three three thousand followers or something in two, since 2008 hi hi welder 2287 entered the live studio you can call on the show for free welder where are you from so uh chuck as i was saying eh, i was sleeping and i don't know how but i removed myself as an admin of my own page how's that i, I wake up and my my phone was next to my pillow and it was on facebook well, and i, I tried to enter my page <laughs> and it's sad sending a voice message to my wife and i was sleeping and all she got was me snoring <laughs> oh my god she's i like, love what it what the hell are you doing and i was like what she's like what, what did you send me i was like what the hell so i played it and i was like Jesus. <laughs> oh my god i love it <laughs> I I know, we shouldn't fall asleep with our phones no. that's dangerous stuff i think that's yes, one is. of the most dangerous stuff you know uh the caller from india i don't know if it happened to you um his name was oj uh, not simpson oj simpson but the, the other uh, guy and it's from india quite a nice talk uh, we had about politics and you know whatever and he wanted to talk about are you strong enough to be alone the subject and um one of the subjects uh, seinfeld also i don't know if you like seinfeld the tv show I love it. Okay. Uh, Welder, where are you from? I'm I'm watching you here. And uh, no, he's, what, he's what I... Even, he's not here. He left. It's just me and you. Oh, my God. Yeah. I noticed. Right uh, says, whatever. Right where it says live and it says two, it's just me and you. If, if oh, that, if okay. If now, okay, okay. That means they left. Oh, okay. Okay. So, we, what I was saying. Uh, but, you know, the show will be available and the downloads are very good it means a lot of people in a whole wide world listen to me and to you speaking <laughs> so um what uh, i was saying oh yeah it uh, um as it happened to you um like strange sounds like uh on the live you never know what you're gonna get and I, I've had real good, nice people uh, who don't speak uh, like disrespectful things, not ever. Thank God for that. But uh, what I'm trying to say is that this um, nice man from India called, and it was so nice, but I kept listening to, you know, uh, water um, and, uh, you know, the. When you go. <laughs> Those sounds in the bathroom, like uh, just water. I just listened to water falling, you know, um, dropping water. Like a waterfall. And uh, yeah, and uh, and I I didn't know what he was doing. I I think he didn't want to disconnect himself because he he was really into the subject. You know, he was trying to tell me stuff and that he knows Portugal from India architecture, you know, the discoverers, Portuguese discoverers, uh, Brian, the uh, spices to the Indian food and everything. And he knew a lot about Portugal. And I was really into the conversation and he was too. So he never disconnected, um, only when the, the show ended, of course. But um, I can't, he, he, he did everything he does in his home. <laughs> and I listened to the sound of the water and he started laughing because I Are think he sure was, was a little bit shy. <laughs> <laughs> he was shy and I think he had to pee. Yeah. And he, he, he put the, how do you say, the Microphone. the water in the, the toilet. The, the he water. Peed. He went for, to the bathroom in the toilet is what he was doing. He was peeing, basically. Yeah. And, and the, the, he, the, he dropped, I didn't hear him pee. I have to be honest. <laughs> but I, I listened for, to, to him when he dropped the water to, you know, on the toilet. When he, I, I can't remember how you say there, the... 
watched it. You know, when you... Yeah, the... Um, afterwards, the... Toilet. the Flush the toilet, yeah. So I started laughing and he started to laugh because he noticed that I noticed and I had to explain like more or less. If I knew what he was going to do, I would put the song louder. But I didn't have a reaction because I well, wasn't you, you expecting. Know, you know you can <laughs> mute them so you don't hear that stuff, right? But I didn't know he was speaking at the same time. Oh, he was okay. speaking, I, was I wasn't going to mute the guy, he's very nice. And he was speaking uh, about how his cousin is a, a loner, you know, uh, a guy who just doesn't accept anyone or just any el um, anyone else in his life because he, he came to be um, like a selfish person. Uh, because he was alone for a long time and he, he started to think there's no one for me in this world so I'm going to be selfish about it and uh, and I'm better this way and he was tr trying to talk about that subject are you strong enough to be alone is the subject and he was given an example from his cousin and he felt he felt bad for him and this guy is taking MBA of uh, hospital administration and uh, he was saying S someday I want to have a wife and stuff but my cousin you know he was say talking to me and he was saying my cousin um, is alone and he's selfish and it, it, this he has to have somebody to share his um, achievements in life and everything so I, I quite enjoy the conversation that's why when he was speaking I never expected to hear the the flush <laughs> and awesome. he, he was started he started washing his hands but uh, we didn't he was really respectful and I re oh I recognize this nickname this nickname is not a nickname it's like a code right Chuck it's like no, a, it's a some it's just a guest just a guest. Yeah, it's a guest. Hi, guests who enter the show right now. Do you yeah, want to call scene. on the show? What's your name and where are you from? I am reading what you're writing. So tell me where are you from? PBGB79459. Jesus. I would prefer <laughs> if people just write like a, a simple name, like a shorter name so we can um you know shout out at their name while we're live but i can't i can't say this name pgb pb gb seven nine forty five nine m seven wv so welcome to the chat and you can call and as venusa seven entered the live studio venusa where are you from do you want to call on the show so we can hear your name? But first, tell me your country. Venusa 7. S. Venusa. Venusa. Wow. What, what just happened, Chuck? Oh, I was nothing. My... Ooh, your voice is really loud now. Is you it? Holy something? Moly. I didn't oh, do anything. Geez. I touched nothing. nothing. Uh, but I didn't do anything also. I don't know what's <laughs> happening. Didn't... I didn't so, do anything. So, uh, do you know, Chuck, Tony just entered the live studio. Tony, can you call us today? Tony was on the... Female voice. Male voice. voice. Wow. Lolly voice. Hello. Is she calling? Yeah. <laughs> Is she calling? You are changing your voice. No way, what are you talking about? <laughs> so let me just say this. Uh, Tony, you know Chuck, he's from uh, uh, Wisconsin, right Tony? Yeah, yes. And uh, he was in a doctor. Um, so Venusa was trying to call us, but uh, she had a few issues. I don't know. But she is going to call us again, I think. I don't... I'm not sure. I haven't so, seen Tony her, so I don't know. Was in, was in a doctor appointment, you know, Chuck. 
e he was on a doctor appointment and uh, he listened to the show and he participated almost the whole show and he gave me like some of the best um, compliments someone could uh, could give me to my show uh, Chuck I'm seeing like here something uh, from Venusa like a call but it shows uh, like a red symbol saying one on the call and uh, I don't know why I think that just means that, that that one person is on the call and you're just gonna have to accept them or they're gonna have to accept it I, I accept it but I think Venusa didn't click on the join Venusa you have to click on the join uh, chat or join call or because I accept it I want to leave this, uh, make this clear. I accepted the call. Venusa, hello. We are talking to other people on the written chat, Tony and PBG, or <laughs> and Venusa is on call. How are you, Venusa? Venusa, where Back are you in. from? No, I, I, I listen to some sounds. Yeah, turn your mute, turn your phone down, dude. You have an echo. Yeah, I don't, I don't understand. I think it's a girl. Venusa is a name. Uh, um, I, I saw just say, dude, to everybody. Name. Oh yeah. <laughs> this <is> better. Uh, <laughs> Venusa, try to say hey. something. Or S I heard him. I heard him. Can you hear me now? Yay! You're not Either. a girl, you're a man. <laughs> she called you a chick. <laughs> oh, I, I didn't. I think women are <laughs> bad. <laughs> Tony is laughing at me. Are you laughing? <laughs> Female uh, voice. I'll do, I'll do you... Uh, what's your name, S. Venusa7? Steve. Steve. Um, where are you from, Steve? Michigan. 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 I love. I, you know, Chuck is a is a fantastic podcaster, and he has Steve. Are you listening? He yeah. has and Tony uh, and the other ones uh, were in the written chat. He has a soundboard um, uh, who he, where he changes his voice. No, I so don't. What are you talking this, about? This is my original voice. You know, Steve, what I mean. He's, yeah. he's making fun of me. Uh, oh, no. <laughs> where are you, where is your show from? Um, I'm from Portugal. Do you know wow. Portugal? I'm Portuguese. That's wonderful. Yeah, you have a great voice. Um, how old are you? Can I know? Oh, I'm up there. Don't tell her, Steve. Like, She's uh, writing this down. Uh, I, I, no. Mommy she's voice. Oh no, God. she's telling it. She's going to write it down, I promise. <laughs> you, uh, Steve, uh, what, you, what did you say? Steve, uh, say it again, please. I, I want to hear you. I picked up my cell phone and I pressed something and here I am in your show. Oh. Oh, okay. <laughs> and I'm glad for it. I'm glad that you uh, that you called. Um, so um, I had three subjects, but I don't know if you want to talk about those three subjects. I just uh, chose those safe three subjects because they were more most successful on other shows, and um, people wanted to talk about them, like. Uh, Seinfeld. Do you know Seinfeld? Years ago, I saw the program. It was pretty funny. Yeah, um, yeah, okay. it's one of my favorites. And but Chuck doesn't like it. The no, other caller hate it. doesn't like it. Hate Seinfeld. <laughs> but you know, uh, Steve uh, agrees with me. Yeah, tell me again, where are you from, uh, Steve? Please. Michigan. Michigan. Yeah. 
I think I didn't talk to anyone from Michigan yet. Uh, so Tony is in the written chat telling me that I'm beautiful. Oh, Tony, you you make me blush with your compliments. Yesterday and the other day, you called. Uh, you called? No, you you written on the chat. You are. So you are going with the, the photo of my profile. It is from October 2019. But I, I still look like that. Thank God. I think I, I do. She, she says she's blushing, but she's really not. Don't yes. believe it. Oh, he's, he's complimenting me. Uh, uh, he's saying I'm beautiful and he, my vibe. Yeah, and my vibe. Um, yes, and your vibe. Yeah, he likes my vibe, you know, Chuck. He's really nice, vibe. Tony. And I really wanted Tony to call on the show because he's a, he has a, an interesting life. Uh, my female voice. Most of us. Oh, my God. You're changing the voices. You're doing like... <laughs> no, I'm not. I'm in my normal voice. Tony is running. Yeah, jogging, like running. Okay, doing exercise very well. Steve, Run faster. Um, uh, the other subject, Steve, um, it was 15 miles. Wow. An hour? Uh, 15 uh, miles an hour. He's running 15 really miles an hour. That's good. good. Uh, Steve, um, you know, the other subject, I think it has the most successful um, statistics till now because people called on other shows to talk about this exclusively. Is like, are you strong enough to be alone? And what I tried to say on those live streamings about that subject was that you can be with someone and um, and feel alone, or you can be with someone, but you know you were happy before being with someone special, and when someone special entered your life, they added a bit of a flavor to it. But you are not like um, a needy person that real need, really needs someone to be by your side, but you just want someone to complement your life to complete. I'm needy. No, <laughs> check. Steve, t- I am. I need everything, man. I'm needy. Oh my God. So, Tony is finding you very funny, right, Tony? Yeah, he's, he's cracking us up. <laughs> you should come to my show and then you'll see the difference or listen to it but you are not doing right now a show unfortunately Who, me? yeah Jim no I'm, I'm not doing my show until Tuesday oh Tony 8 o'clock subscribe uh, to Chuck and Billy's not your cup of tea right is the name I will yes. be there. Oh, yeah, Tony. But don't forget about me when I enter the live show. You can subscribe to my show, okay? But I I have to warn you. Our show is pretty intense, and I don't mean <laughs> in a good way either. R rated. How do you say R rated? Like for oh, it's rated NC 17. Kids are not allowed. That, that all I can tell you. I'm a, it's brutal, a kid but funny. 40 years old. I'm a Steve. Are you listening? I'm a child. Yeah. I'm a four-year-old child. What about you? <laughs> <laughs> Tony says nice. If you were, you should not be on the show. Oh no! I I I have 40 years um, uh, on my back. Like I'm 40 year old ch- um, child. You're 40. Yeah, that you're was a, so Chuck. Uh, um, accepted the the the, the uh, do you say the the advice? No, I'm joking, Chuck. Chuck is going yes. to run now. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna Tony I'm gonna take off. I got a few things to do. So. Yeah, yeah, and you were amazing. You had you, you kept me company, and the show is about to end. So um, you know, part being cuts us off. So. Yes. yes. <laughs> I mean, you sucks. have the experience. And, <laughs> but we love Podbean. We love Podbean. Yay. No, I and, don't. Um, <laughs> oh, don't say that. So, Tony is running, is doing ex- exercise. I did oh. my bike ride uh, today in my home. Like, you know, while I was working, I was taking a ride in my bike, my static bike. 
<laughs> but um, Steve, do you like to run? And uh, Chuck, it was really a nice pleasure talking to you again. And, you too. Uh, I love talking to you. You are, honestly, you are, uh, you were like a co-host today. Inspiration, uh, today. I know, I get it. Oh. <laughs> And, uh, but seriously, you are amazing. And I hope to get into your show at least once. I, I know it's real uh, late for me when you do, because uh, yeah. it's like yeah. 1 a.m., but at least I will say, howdy, Chuck, howdy. Yeah, just come in and say hi. Even if you just say hi, I'll say hi back so you know that we okay, saw okay. it. Okay, so. I'll try not to fall asleep because it's 1 a.m. <laughs> and it's real <laughs> Oh, Steve um, ended the call. You know, I start talking to you and I forget the, the rest. But I think right. he had to go. I think he had to go. Yeah, that's what I'm doing. I, I think I he run. had to go. And, and as I said, the show is ending. So, uh, guys, uh, the people who entered the show, um, I want to thank you. Um, uh, Steve! Steve, I didn't end the show yet, but if you want to speak a little bit of what I asked you before on the call, you can call again or write on the chat that I, I'll read what you write. So, um, Tony and Chuck and everyone else, um, I want to thank you uh, for keeping me company on these four shows that I did to celebrate Podcast of the Week on Podbean's app. And um, the, the shows will be uh, available on Podbean, Apple, Podcast, you know, Spotify, you know, the drip, right, um, right Chuck? Um, I'm on whenever I can. That's why, Tony, you have to subscribe because it's easier that way. When you subscribe to, you know, my show, uh, you get a notification whenever I no. live stream. But, right? Well, it, it you want to know the funny thing about the notifications? That's not true. It doesn't work anymore. It stopped working. So that's wow. the problem. Oh, that's why yesterday I had a little bit problem. I, I, I had a few issues with the, you know, the... I was seeing in my phone that I was live and I ended the show and I was live for like two hours after I ended. Yeah, that's, that's what happened to us the other day. So I agree with you. I found out yesterday some of the issues that the, you know, notification. But anyway, Tony, subscribe anyway. So or or you go to Instagram. I'll, I'll put here. All right, thank I'm going to run, and I'll like talk to you again. Yeah. Thank you, Chuck. You're welcome. I'm going to say goodbye to people, but I will put my website here and my Instagram. And I always say on Instagram when I'm going to be live. So you can go for that. And, uh, yeah. Uh, I think I, I'll sh I share the, the, the same link. I'm going to share again. Because I made a, a little bit of mistake here. I clicked it. I clicked twice. See you around, Chuck. Yeah, we are saying goodbye to Chuck because he was going to run, to do, to go for a run, and it's healthy, and I love that. And Tony is writing on the chat as well, and he's running as well. And I love that my listeners are, you know. Um, going for runs and bike rides and healthy lifestyle but if you are not on a healthy style I accept you with all my heart <laughs> anyway <laughs> so um, Tony um, I don't know I have like a few minutes uh, I gave up I give up gloves and hats to the homeless today Wow, you did it well. I, I give money to charity uh, every month. I don't know if you're, to yeah. And uh, I, I just feel real good when I, I give to others. But since I was a child, I, I watched my grandmother, who's not uh, alive, sadly, 
um, she died years ago. But she taught me and my mom, who's almost uh, her birthday on 17th of November, my mom is having her birthday. And uh, they taught me, there are like two women in my life. One is not around, my grandmother is not around anymore, but my mom, thank God it is. And um, you know, they, they always helped others. And uh, I think I just, I'm just doing what they did and what they do, you know? Uh, we can't go on with our lives without helping other people. I think it makes you feel good. And I think God helps whoever helps others. Yeah, that's right. So Tony is saying on the written chat, uh, oh yeah, nice. And uh, I, f I feed the homeless every Friday. And he's saying happy birthday to my mom, who's almost her birthday, 17th of November. She's a wonderful lady. And she sings Fado. I don't know if you know what Fado is. It's like a Portuguese type of music to sing. She sings very well. I'm, I have a singing channel, but she doesn't, but she should have. But she doesn't have the courage to have <laughs> to sing online. Maybe one day I'll, I'll make her sing in my show. Maybe, maybe. You never know. So Tony's saying that's right. Yeah, wonderful. Happy birthday to my mom and uh, to my mom. Ana Maria is her name. And um, Tony is saying, wonderful, nice, <laughs> to what we are saying. And uh, we had uh, great callers today. Um, a beautiful name, yeah. My name is Sylvia and my, mom's is, my mom is Ana Maria. And my grandmother is like Rose, but is Rosa, Rosa, <laughs> it's her name. She's not around anymore. She's She's like, she and my mom, they are my role models till today, so. Um, but I have inspirations in my life uh, besides them, like um, Bruce Lee, uh, JFK, you know, peop um, Abraham Lincoln. I, I, love, I like those people. Um, I like following those stories. And I, I know everyone has his flaws and uh, no one is perfect, of course. But I, I like um, inspiring myself uh, with these people, uh, Bruce Lee and everything. Do you like Bruce Lee, Tony? Do you know a bit of his story? Yeah, I grew up watching the movies with my older brothers. I'm like the youngest and I'm the only girl in the siblings, you know? I have three older brothers and uh, before, oh, I think the show is about to end, Tony. But, okay, I'm going to put the song. Tony, I'm going to do um, a show like dedicated to my mom, a live show on 17th of November. If I don't do it, it's just because I, I couldn't do it. But uh, I'm scheduling 17th of November, um, a live chat. Um, to dedicate to my mom and uh, I'll put the, her favorite songs and I'll pay a tribute to my mom on 17th of November I'm watching uh, all of you writing on the chat but I'm, I'm afraid that Podbean is going to end the show because the rules are like two, two hours more or less and uh, it's almost ending the show so Sorry, you guys, I have to put the song. I have like two minutes. Bye-bye. Uh, you will be here, right? And so your twin, Tony, is a black belt. We're going to talk about that on the next show. Uh, stick around, you guys, to listen just by my side in excess. I had a lovely, um, like, almost two hours talking to all of you via written chat and via calls for free you called on the show and i loved it tony you're becoming to be uh, you're becoming one of my favorite listeners of all time and 17th of november i'll try and do another live show 
uh, dedicated to my mom. It was her birthday on 17th November. So bye bye, you guys. Don't forget, 17th of November, I'll do a live chat with the songs, favorite songs of my mom, and we'll keep talking, uh, talking about whatever you want. Not only my mom, of course. It's dedicated to her, but the subject is general. It's whatever you want to talk about. I'll put the songs in it. Bye bye, you guys. Thank you. Yes, I wish you were by